Hello, I'm Jody Wolf, and you're watching Expose on March 12, 2020, 10:21 p.m. I've got three things to tell you, and I'm going to keep the one that I thought I trusted the most for last. And to me, it's it's very bothersome. It's well, when I tell you what it is, I think you'll feel perhaps the same. But let's go to um, what happened in London. And this is just uh, not too long ago. And um, it's called Mother's Ruin. But it's, uh, it's when gin was invented. And it says, in the mid-18th century, the effects of gin drinking on the English society makes the use of drugs today seem almost benign. It was supposed to be something that would cure gout, indigestion, and most attractive of all, it was cheap. In the, in the 1730s, notices could be seen all over London. The message was short and to the point. Drunk for a penny, dead drunk for a twopence, and straw for nothing. And they sold it everywhere. They made 10 million gallons of gin that was being distilled each year in the capital, just the capital of London, England. It was sold by barbers, peddlers, grocers, and even sold on market stalls. And that's not the only place. You get locked up in jail. And even the jailer would sell it to you. Hey, man, if you can lock me up, I need something to tie me over. Well, they'd pay the jail to get drunk. And it was gin. Gin was terrible on these people. And, and it was destroying their society just like the drugs are today in our society and in our economy and and to hear them say what they said that hey the drugs need to take a back seat to what happened here in the 1700s well let me let me give you some things here the list of the deadliest diseases in history number one they have oh i said number one one of them is uh, the smallpox, and it killed between 13 and 500 million people worldwide. And it continues to kill. Not as many, of course we know that, but it continues to kill. And is it eradicated? Not on your life. Bubonic plague. The plague killed between 19, uh, 1348 and 1350. They picked this two years and said a third of the population died. The third of the population died during the Black Death. The plague bacteria is permitted, uh, transmitted to humans through bites of a flea that were previously fed, had fed on an infected animal, usually a rat or a rodent. Spanish flu. This is our 1918 stuff, guys. The pandemic and the deadliest in recorded history that spread throughout the world in World War I during 1918 infected about one-third of the world's population. There's no clear number on how many people actually died. It was called the H1N1. And if you, everything you read about after that they're related. Absolutely, they are cousins. They have the same genetic makeup. Every year, the seasonal flu kills a half a million people worldwide, despite the availability of vaccines, which has been shown to be effective as a preventive measure. But a lot of people take that vaccine and they get that flu and it's worse than it was had they not taken it. And, uh, and it affects mainly the children and the elderly. So this continues to kill a half million people worldwide. So the number in our country 
around upper 50s to upper 60s thousands per year is probably fairly in line with some of those numbers. TB, tuberculosis. I remember that growing up. I was small, had uncles in the hospital, and mainly those out of the Korean War. They had the TB, and and everybody that got it, 90% of them died of it. And it was a uh, uh, air. It was it, it it travel on the air. You know, it's a uh, sneeze or you cough. It's it's tiny droplets that's released when a person sneezes or or even talks. And it was most common, believe it or not, in Asia and Africa. But it killed a lot of people in our country because I had an uncle that died of it that came out of uh, North Korea or, or the Korean War. And then you have the malaria. Now, this is the one that you get from a mosquito. But still, there's been no vaccine developed that'll destroy malaria. It just it hadn't got it yet. It's just there's ways to, to keep from getting it. These aren't airborne, except that they fly around. Clara, cholera, um, this is mainly people who are starving throughout Africa that you hear about. Today, throughout North Korea, 100,000 people per year. That is a small number. I don't agree with that number. And it's unhygienic conditions that causes that. And if you go to India and watch them crap in the creek here, they swim here, clean their clothing, then they go down here and bathe. Well, it's still coming downstream. Why don't they do it in reverse? Crap down here, come up here, clean the clothes, then go up here and bathe. Unhygienic conditions is what's killing these people in India. HIV and AIDS killed 25 million worldwide since it was first discovered in 1981. It's not gone. AIDS is still alive and active and well in places. And you know how AIDS traveled. Most of it traveled just the way you're thinking. Ebola. This is outbreaks in Africa, and they cause a hemorrhage on the inside. And, and this fever is known by other Ebola viruses, but you got to look at it. They're all related. They're all some part or some type of H1N1, every one of them. Cancer is the last of these that kills seven and a half million worldwide. I disagree with that. I think it's double or triple that number that cancer kills. And and anyway, here's the point that I want to make that I'm really truly upset about and disagree with. And I am I am shocked that that it's even on their site. And I'm gonna talk about the oath keepers. You've heard of the Oath Keepers. I have. I'm a member. But what they're saying here galls me in a major way. How COVID-19 travels through a human bus. It's airborne. Well, we all know that. It's airborne. Every, we, who's, what stupid person doesn't know that it's not airborne? But no one knows how long it's airborne. And they say the coronavirus is airborne and you are not being told the full truth. Oath keepers, I disagree with what you're saying here because we have been told by our people that we know that China lied about everything they told us. It's airborne. It's always been airborne, but no one can agree on how long it's alive in the air. That's the only thing. And it, it, I'm sure if they do tests, they can figure that out. And that was also reported on Fox. I see something here that I don't like, that you have Oath Keepers yielding in some way to 
I don't know what their point is. We we know this, and we know that China has lied on the numbers of people that have had this, that's caught this, that has died. I believe the number of deaths in China are probably 10 times what they tell you it is, at least 10 times, maybe 20 or 30 times more. But no one ever said anything about it not being airborne. It's always been airborne. But what does Oath Keepers have to gain by saying, hey, this is airborne. Nobody told us that. Oh, yes, they did. <laughs> I heard it two months ago. I don't know why you didn't. But anyway, guys, look, it is all, it is all related. And the only way to get rid of it is to be clean. Clean, wash, wipe. Spray some, some, in your house, you know, spray it around you, but it's airborne. But I bet you that if a guy is a hundred feet away from me and sneezes, I don't believe that I'm going to catch what he's got. Because whatever he sneezed out will die before it reaches me. But it seems that Oath Keepers thinks that it's airborne and it's going to stay airborne until it gets on somebody else. I disagree with that. Guys, don't get bent out of shape about this. Don't panic. When we get the one that the Bible predicts that's going to kill a third of the world, you're going to get it. There's nothing on this planet that'll keep you from getting it. The only people that won't get it will be the people that have been raptured with a church. This is the virus that is in the tribulation. I'm not talking about the virus now. The one then will be a cousin of the one we have now, just as the one we have now is a cousin of the H1N1 from hundreds of years ago. It never dies. It's always here. It just gets stirs up every now and then by something. It gets active. And it gets out and gets loose. And just the way it got out, it'll go right back in and hide for a while. And I believe we're going to see that happen very soon. Jody Wolf exposed.